This video's random fact is, when we see someone who looks familiar, we identify them by their eyes before anything else, the more you know. Now this is official, it looks like during Black Friday holiday, the best selling console out there was the Nintendo Switch. You can see a lot of people just love the Nintendo Switch. And I think there's a number of reasons, at least this Black Friday, why the Nintendo Switch sold so well as it did. If you look around, I don't think the Nintendo Switch had a crazy deal for the Nintendo Switch. Honestly, if you ask me, I still think the best deal for Black Friday and the Thanksgiving holiday was absolutely the PS4 Slim Bundle because with the PS4 Slim Bundle, you did get Spider-Man and you only paid $1.99 for the console. And I think that's an absolute absolute steal for the console. Sure, Microsoft had a deal for the uh, Xbox uh, Xbox One uh, S. The Xbox One S was priced at the same price point as the PS4 Slim. It was also $199, but I don't think the deal there was just that great just because the game that you got was Minecraft. Sure, they give you some skins, some other stuff with Minecraft, so it was a, a Minecraft deal there. I thought that was okay, but compared to Sony, I thought Sony's was absolutely fantastic because the new, the new Spider-Man game that came out in September looks absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the best game this year without a doubt. It's definitely not the best game this year, but I think it's one of those top tier games this year anyway. And definitely since you're getting it for $100 off and free, I thought that was the best deal. And honestly, if you ask me, I thought the PS4, the PS4 Slim Bundle at $199 with Spider-Man would have taken the cake absolutely. But I guess you also have to realize as well that the PS4 has been on the market for quite some time now. And a lot of people already own a PS4, so it's kind of hard to get, to get people to buy a PS4 when I guess there's already close to 80 million uh, PS4s already sold during its lifetime. So how many more people out there already own a uh PS4 system. A lot of people already own a PS4 system, so it kind of makes sense. More people would towards uh, would gravitate towards the uh, Nintendo Switch. One thing during Black Friday I noticed is the uh, the Nintendo Switch really wasn't on sale anywhere. There was really no great deals in terms of like actual sales for the console, but there was one great deal for the Nintendo Switch pretty much everywhere. One great deal for the Nintendo Switch was the fact that if you bought the Nintendo Switch at full retail price, two ninety nine, so it wasn't on sale. It was still two ninety nine, but but the thing is, when you bought the Nintendo Switch for $2.99, you actually got a copy of Mario Kart 8 in the box for totally free. And that was absolutely a great deal. Yes, in my opinion, I still think the Nintendo Switch is well worth $2.99. But when you throw in a free game like Mario Kart 8, and Mario Kart 8 is still a top tier game. It's not like it's a bottom of the barrel game, some random indie game, some random AAA game from a different studio. It's a first party IP from Nintendo. Then yes, I think that's a great deal. But I think really what makes this, uh, what, what, what made people wanna buy the Nintendo Switch during Black Friday holiday so well over the uh, competition, I think it had to do with the fact that a lot of people were hyped up for the new Pokemon game. The, the new Pokemon game just came out this month and a lot of people were looking there, uh, looking to get their hands on that and on top of that of course that deal like I say with Mario Kart 8 pretty much just took it over the cake for them so they ended up getting that uh, probably buying Pokemon and on top of that you do have to realize next month is a big AAA game from Nintendo we also get Super Smash Brothers and a lot of people are hyped up for Super Smash Brothers and on top of this that also takes other stuff even though this really wasn't on sale there's also those limited editions floating around right now you can pick up the Pokemon the Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu uh, special edition uh, switches you can also pick up the uh, the, you can also pre-order the uh, the Super Smash Brothers limited edition system. Those are so aren't on sale, but maybe a lot of people were looking on those and they had some extra cash to spend, so they ended up by either buying the Pokemon Let's Go uh, Eevee and Pikachu uh, Nintendo Switch Special Edition, or they decided to pre-order the uh, Smash Brothers limited edition system as well. So I think that's what, what also helped the Nintendo Switch. And on top of that, there's just a lot of good games to play with the Nintendo Switch. And the Nintendo Switch, if you ask me, is one of the greatest uh, deals is because you get the system for $2.99, but it's not your traditional console like a PS4 or an Xbox One. You can play it on the go or you can play it on the TV. And I think that's also what helps the Nintendo Switch out as well because when you look at it, you get more you get more value for your money. You're not stuck playing it at home. And I think a lot of consumers want more value for their money. And this is definitely the best value for your money. Sure, it doesn't have as big as catalog as like the Xbox One and the PS4. And it doesn't have the same features and the same high fidelity quality in terms of like the games and stuff like that. But but overall, just the way that you can take your games on the go and play your games off the TV, just absolutely fantastic from Nintendo. And you do have to realize something else that Nintendo did great with the Nintendo Switch. On top of everything Nintendo did great with the Nintendo Switch, they also give you 
two controllers in the box. It's just the design of the Nintendo Switch. Since you do have two Joy-Cons that slide onto the Nintendo Switch, you pretty much can play uh, co-op games for free with the Nintendo Switch because right out the box, you don't have to run around, go buy an extra controller. Whereas with the competition, the PS4 and the Xbox One, you have to go out, you have to go ahead and buy extra controllers for it. But here, you don't have to buy any extra controllers for the Nintendo Switch. I think this holiday really set the cake off for Nintendo Switch. And it's really not too surprising that the best-selling console this uh, holiday season or this uh, Black Friday uh, weekend was the uh, Nintendo Switch. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out. Boop.